<laughs> Matt Lewis is not a neo, just a con. Every line is untruthful, hypocrisy. Wish Bill called his fraud more. First of all, follow me on Twitter at Matt K. Lewis. Oh, so you send um, tweets too? I am, I am on Twitter, and I love Twitter. It's awesome. I agree. I'm not a neocon. I am a conservative. I just want to say with Maureen Dowd, I agree with Maureen Dowd that I would rather be eaten alive by ants than Twitter. Give us a phone call, or you can Twitter us. Are you Twittering yet? I'm not Twittering, you know. And, uh, or tweet, it, sending it, tweets? It, 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 sounds, it sounds a little bit like a nervous condition. Uh, but the, the ones I've seen have been so self-indulgent and so narcissistic, Steve, um, that it just kind of, uh, you know, here I am. I'm walking now. I just had a bite of my pizza. Uh, I'm walking into makeup. Uh, I mean, that they don't uh, they don't seem to be particularly reflective, insightful, uh, uh, or thoughtful, uh, rather than just sort of. Uh, I know you'd be interested in in, in my minor movements, and uh, I, I find that just a little off-putting, to tell you the truth. Are you, tw are you using Twitter, by the way? I barely use email. <laughs> a commenter said that the fate of Iraq is up to the Iraqi people. There is nothing that the United States can do if they don't want to work together. Uh, John Meacham, are you using Twitter? I'm not. Uh, I, my, I feel that if anyone wants to call me, I'm, I'm available. Uh, I don't. Uh, we have it on the website, and uh, I think uh, it's a fascinating phenomenon, but I... Um, I figure people know, uh, the people who know me certainly have to listen to me too much anyway. At least that's their view. Or send us a tweet. Are either of you Twittering? Uh, I, I Twittered, I, is that right? Is that the way you say it? I, I think twit, you I, send a tweet. I, tweet, I tweeted or Twittered uh, from Europe with the president a little bit. I, I must I, admit I'm not sure I understand I why. I have opened my own Twitter line but there have yet go. to think of anything worth writing in it yet. <laughs> but I do have an account. You could sort of tweet about the... We'll, we'll and I have 17 followers. <laughs> We have, I don't know how many we have, but a couple hundred. We've just started it. So uh, send us a tweet, uh, twitter.com slash, uh, twitter slash cspanwj. By the way, do you tweet? I don't tweet. Um, I, I, I've never thought that the world was suffering from a lack of outlets for me to express my opinions. Twitter, blogging, and texting are all new mediums for people to get the news. Are these new mediums exciting for you as reporters, or do you prefer the old-fashioned papers and television? And also, just how do you feel about these new mediums in general? It doesn't matter what I prefer. We can't stop it. You cannot stop technology. You can't hold back the tides and all that. So you have to adapt to it and all of this. And I think the news media, new mediums are two-edged sword. The, the bright edge of everyone being able to participate, let all flowers bloom, I'm for. Everybody should get out there, say whatever you want to, tweet, uh, you know, in the proper places, not at funerals or something. The other edge of the sword is, have you checked it all out? When you say something is fact, have you really checked it? Have you called to make certain it's fact? There's a lot of stuff out there which I don't think uh, they've checked out at all, but people can look at it and say, well, that's true, there was no Holocaust. I mean, Lyndon Johnson organized the uh, Kennedy assassination. TW-800 was shot down by a U.S. Navy submarine off the coast. No, not true. So I prefer the old media from the standpoint of people, whether they're uh, working for ABC News or just those of you in class there, who want to check things out before you go saying that you think you know something. So technology is good. Fundamentals are uh, evergreen. Absolute. No standards. Everyone with a laptop thinks they're a journalist. It doesn't matter of ruining re lives and reputations. We used to have a credo, if your mother says she loves you, check it out. I mean, these <laughs> are just the facts, ma'am. But now, I, anything's in the air and you don't know what to believe. No editors, no standards. Question from Twitter. This gentleman uh, wants to know, uh, Mr. Will should be asked what he thinks, if he thinks we should be expanding the war in Afghanistan with the history of that nation. That's an excellent question. Well, what, Twitter's what, 140 characters? Yes. I'm learning so much. Anyway. By the way, do you tweet? Uh, yes. I, I, we have a little tweet uh, thing that we uh, put out who our guests are going to be on Face the Nation, and we to put a headline or two in there. I'm going to mix in uh, four Twitter comments just oh, to get a sen sense of the Twitter universe. Chris Hayes here. is an enthusiastic <laughs> Twitterer, by the And way. I'll say at, you know, if I'm responding back to them. <laughs> you, uh, you've got the, uh, the, the Twitter lo lingo down correctly so that people know that you're part of the, the universe there. Another, another tweet, and they're all over the place. Again, going back to California a this tweet. week. 
I a, love it. When you send a Twitter. I know, a Twitter. A I know, it's a tweet. I just, you didn't know that? You're I just cutting proud edge. of you being <laughs> cutting edge. C-SPAN is also taking your questions or comments on Twitter. You can find our address at CSPANWJ and send us a tweet with your question for James Walcott. Have you gotten into the Twitter phenomenon yet? No, I haven't. You know, I, I have one of those. I'm, I'm reluctant because I, I th it's like Facebook. I keep thinking that the moment I get into it is when it'll be over. And then so that you, you face that thing of like you get into it right at the moment. Everyone says, oh, well, that's over. Like, why did you even bother with that? I keep thinking there's going to be something after Twitter. Um, but also, I, I am very much afraid of like uh, having something else as a, as a constant distraction. Because I'm reading a lot of blogs, I'm looking at a lot of things online, and I think, God, if you add Twitter to it, I mean, I might as well just have, have it implanted into the brain and, you know, not even bother typing.